So this is the Siemens C-Place F3, uh, which is the same as the C-Place S15 gantry motor and its connections. Uh, this is the x-axis motor, it's a DC servo, brushed DC servo, and this is its encoder. Uh, it's, I'm not familiar with this style of encoder, I've only ever used quadrature encoders. Uh, it's 6 millivolt slash TR slash minute. Don't know what that means, to be honest. Uh, we've got a uh, 51 volt 0 0.78 newton meter servo which is 5.9 amps. Uh, the cables from those two devices here come to this cable which has your red on your black for your motor control. It's very dirty. I think it's getting filthy. Uh, and you have your encoder here. So encoder is a red wire, a blue wire, and either a ground or a shield. I'm not sure if that's an actual shield around that or not. Um, those appear to go straight back to the ribbon connectors. Um, I've pulled the ribbon connectors off. Those go back to the computer down there somewhere. Um, these wires here on these connectors go down to the magnetic encoder for the ax for the y axis down there and these all go to the magnetic encoder as well um, so it'll be good to look up in the service manual what these pins are these appear to be identical um, and then what track a and track b are here um, we've got a direction jumper and then error jumper I believe those are my German as I've mentioned before is not so great um, so yeah, all of these connectors are going down to the encoder underneath this axis let's see if I can figure out how to get in there um, it's a bit tight to move around this machine okay so inside the machine we have that device there and that brown device with the cables coming in here uh, and even this cable coming off to the side here and there's a black cable there those are all the magnetic encoder and I believe they're looking at that strip there so I don't know where this wire is going perhaps there is a similar encoder yeah looks like there's a similar encoder underneath here in there uh, so that's your guide rail for the x-axis and that would be your encoder strip for the x-axis uh, yeah because they've got the same two gray wires going to there question is do those come up to the head at all and they don't appear to uh, if we look around the head, no, they don't appear to come up. So those wires are definitely coming back to this um, cable here, and that's the beige cable. The beige cable goes into those two, which would make those two be coming, f no that's a limit switch, those two are coming to there, okay so then that means that other beige wire is running to the limit switch at that end of the gantry, that being the limit switch. So beige wire here uh, goes to that limit switch which then runs through the gantry coming out through there, that's the wire which wraps around and then comes up to these being your limits. That being the magnetic encoder, the main cable going down to it. Uh, and we've also got the two gray wires which we saw as probes of some sort going down to here. So those two gray wires there, which have the metal connectors and are poking up against that encoder strip. Um, they come down to this end and have identical number of pins, identical pin colouring. Uh, it'd be good to see what X5 and X6 are. So that appears to be the X-axis motor control.
and limit board and everything all in one.